Hi, Dr. Evan Mountford again at Loomis Life Care Chiropractic. Today I'm going to teach you one of my very favorite exercises. It's called the Lumbar Extension Exercise. The reason this exercise is so valuable is because it counteracts one of the things we do all day long for the majority of us, which is sit. Sitting leads to usually the spine rolling out into this position. And a lot of times people are on their phone and it causes forward head posture as well. Both of those things are responsible for the majority of neck problems and lower back problems that we have. And it's also one of the, I guess you could say, best kept secrets for health. A lot of people are health enthusiasts, which is a wonderful thing. We want people to be as healthy as possible here in our office. People often don't realize the connection between the nervous system and the spine. But the nervous system runs right through that spine, goes to all those organs and tissues, and the nervous system is responsible for all the function in your body. And so in the lower back, if you're sitting all day long, having that lower back pain can often cause pain down the leg, degenerative changes in the lower back. Um, it also, the most common uh, thing to go right along with sciatica is digestive issues because it's the same nerve coming from the lower back that goes into the digestive organs. And usually what we find is that it's been there for a decade or more. And these problems start off slowly, and so it's best to do this proactively before you get to the point where you're having pain and problems. The lumbar extension exercise is simple, and it's excellent to do. To perform the exercise, you're gonna sit up tall with your hands on your knees. You're gonna pull and arch into your back with your chest out. You're gonna hold that for um, usually a count of 10, and then repeat that usually also to a count of 10. We usually have people do three sets of that, but follow the doctor's instructions. Again, hands on the knees, pull and arch into your back. You're gonna tilt your hips forward. You're gonna bring the curvature into your back. You're gonna hold to the count of 10 and repeat. This exercise is not for everyone because there are some people that have an overly rounded lower back or have what we call a spondylolisthesis, which means the vertebra shifts forward. Those situations, we use different exercises. It's much better for you to get spinal x-rays before you start doing some of these exercises because that way it can be specific to your needs. Thank you very much. Have a great day.